Watson. But it wasn't long before she said, look, I simply can't cope with Robert. Uh, he's, um, you know, he's playing all kinds of stuff I can't even play. And yet there are <laughs> fundamental problems with his discipline and yeah. with his uh, sort of technique that yeah. I simply uh, can't sort out. So um, I recommend that he goes to the man that taught, that taught her. Mm. And he was Arthur Alexander, who had just retired from the Royal College of Music as a senior professor of piano there. So I started going up to London uh, once a week uh, for lessons uh, with Arthur, with Arthur Alexander. And during the course of while I was going up for those lessons, I happened to go to the cinema uh, with some friends to see a kind of Hitchcock film. It wasn't Hitchcock, but it was a sort of Hitchcockian thriller. And in fact, it was, it was called The Naked Edge, and it was, um, it was Gary Cooper's last film. And it is one of those typical uh, film noir uh, films where the murderer's creeping around the house at the end and the woman's all on her own and, you know, and you can see what's coming and the bath's running and blah, blah, blah. And the thing was that the, as the tension built up, this woman was sitting watching a, a television and in the uh, early 60s, there were only two channels, ITV and BBC, and she was flicking between two channels. One of the channels uh, was a tennis match, which was coming to, it was a very tense a tennis match where it kept on being deuce and then advantage, and then it just went on and on, and it was very, very tense. And on the other side um, uh, was uh, a young pianist playing with an orchestra, blonde, dashing, wonderful, uh, coming to the apotheosis of the Ratmaninoff Third Piano Concerto. And I sort of went, wow, you know, that really is what I want to do now. Uh, I didn't know who this pianist was and it didn't say so at the end of the film, but I must have gone to, to the pictures, in pictures one and six or something in those days in old money. Uh, and watched this film in the matinee, I think it was probably five or six times. And um, when I went up to London uh, to, I, on one of my occasions to visit uh, Arthur Alexander, I, um, I mentioned this film and that pianist had seen, and he said, oh yes, that's Malcolm. I taught him. <laughs> so it was Malcolm Binns. Ah, right. Well, the time came when it was uh, it was um, considered that I ought to try and get into the Royal College of Music. Now, the problem was that there were certain rules about being able to get into the Royal College, and that meant that you had to have passed certain normal educational exams. But, of course, I'd never done any of them. I didn't even take my 11 plus, let alone fail it. Mm. So here I was as a young... A uh, fifteen-year-old, uh, with all this um, music pouring out of me, and all this sort of um, sort of passionate animal instinct for the piano, and um, was semi-literate. 